Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, we have a long chit chat get ready with me, right? Well, well, I kind of just ranted to you guys about my life. So if you guys want to see what that is, how I got this look, well then definitely keep watching. Alrighty guys, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today, so I figured we would just do just a chit chat, get ready with me, while I just kind of catch you guys up on my, my life, y'all. <laughs> so we're gonna start off, my hair is just a mess, but it's wash day, so she's getting washed after this. So we're gonna start off with the eyes. So Alter Ego just launched, I mean like literally just launched their new Midsummer palette. And I don't know the price point on this because it doesn't say it yet, but here's the Midsummer palette. And let me show you guys, this palette is absolutely beautiful truly beautiful and you might ask yourself wait a minute Allie haven't I seen this palette before yes yes you have you sure <laughs> as heck have in the Anastasia on in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Novu palette so here's the comparison of the two on top we do have the Alter Ego Midsummer palette followed by the Anastasia Beverly Hills Novu palette at the bottom as you guys can see they're pretty identical. The only thing that's different about them is obviously the price point of the formula and the layout and the names, but the shade colors are identical. Now, normally I like to do a comparison in, in videos where I compare the two, but I'm not feeling the best. So we're just gonna do that kind of in this video. I already know how ABH performs and I've already took the pleasure of swatching this for you guys. I will say it's a really, really pretty palette. I think it's really perfect for like the summer season and like the spring season. And you guys can use code Dawson10 to save you guys 10% off when shopping anything at Alter Ego. And if you guys don't know, Grand does love to duplicate high-end brands at a fraction of the cost. So if you can't afford the Natasha Denona or like the Huda Beauty palettes because they're like six to eight bucks, so expensive, just wait because Alter Ego will launch their own version of it for 16, 18, 20 bucks at most. So definitely well worth it. I absolutely do love Alter Ego's formula. It is fan freaking tastic. So anywho, let me catch up on my life. So first off, let me tell you guys about Koa. Koa is doing really good. Um, he passed whatever was in his system. Um, pretty much it started off like two weeks ago where Koa had like some sort of allergic, re allergic reaction to something. He ended up getting hives and I, we have no idea what it was from, but his face swelled up. So we eventually had to go to the emergency room because the Benadryl I was giving him wasn't working. Come to find out the Benadryl I was giving him was actually expired. <laughs> and that's why it wasn't working. So, I mean, that just goes to show like we really don't ever need it that often. I'm gonna do a very basic eye look today. I have a headache. Your girl has a headache and I'm just, I'm just to hang out my friends. So we're gonna go into the shade called Meadow right here and we're gonna use this right now. So anyway, um, so he had an allergic reaction. We had to go give him a shot and they told us about the University of Florida, which does allergy testing in dogs at a fraction of the cost versus going to like a specialist. So we already got the number for that. So we're gonna be contacting the um, University of Florida to see if we can get him tested just to figure out what type of allergy he has because they don't they think it's at first they thought it was environmental but now they're thinking it's back it's back to food again so on friday that same week around 7 p.m koa came down with like the worst case of diarrhea i mean it was like a waterfall coming out of his ass sorry my stomach hates me and the worst part is it was on the hour every hour so that entire night literally i would get at most like 45 minutes of sleep before he would go to the door to let us know that he had to go poop now with koa i love him he's my baby but he doesn't really do it the best job at saying hey i gotta take a dookie he just kind of paces around and does a little circle like he's going to take a dookie on your floor but like my my girl kaya she will stand in front of you she will pant she'll kind of whine to let you know hey i have to go not koa no no he'll go stand by the front door and just stand there and just hope that you see him 30 minutes after he's already circled around the way he's gonna take a crap so <sighs> it was frustrating but literally it was every hour we had to go and take him outside because he just was having the worst time 
And I have Endosorb, which is kind of like a modium for dogs. We always have it on hand because Kaya does have a little bit of digestive issues. So I knew that maybe we could try giving him that. But after giving him um, two rounds within eight hours and it still isn't helping, I was like, we need metronidazole because that is fantastic. But of course, I had to get a script for that. So we try to go to our primary vet. Now, our primary vet is in a really, really busy location. And the day that we went was on a Saturday. And unfortunately, they only had one vet and one vet tech. That's all they had with a schedule full of people. Now, typically they do a really good job at getting us in if they need to, but that day they had absolutely no space to get us in whatsoever. And you know what? I understood. Like I understood it was very, very unfortunate and they legally could not give me medication for Koa without him being seen by the vet because it's illegal. So, we were like, shit, what do we do? Because obviously our baby needs help and our vet couldn't see us. And I'm going to get to that in just a minute because I've had people get really upset when I say that. But um, I'm just going to use this blend bunny one because it's right here. But yeah, so we found actually another hospital. Now, the hospital we found, and I'm going to say the name of this one because... I have a story for this. The hospital we found was band filled for like the emergency hospital. They were open and they were able to take Koa in right away. Now we didn't want to go to the emergency vet that we went to just two nights prior because that emergency vet is only open from 6.30 p.m. until 7.30 a.m. So they were not going to be available to take care of Koa until the evening. Then during the day, it is a specialized hospital that has really expensive rates. So we just went into Bainfield because it was available, it was open. And let me tell you, when we took Koa in there, the staff was incredible. The staff was incredible. They were super sweet. Um, they pressed his belly. We had to do x-rays just to make sure that he didn't have anything lodged. And I did see a little bit something on his x-ray to indicate there could be some sort of presence in there, whether it be a foreign body, undigested food, just something was in his system that was causing him to have some sort of flare up and causing him to have the diarrhea. And he threw up twice his food. So, wow, that's really messy. We're going to go with my Dominique Cosmetics just to clean it up. So, um, we were at the Bainfield and we got the x-ray. They said a little something there. So they didn't think it was anything too worrisome because it looked like it was moving through a system. He wasn't indicating that he was really in any pain besides the diarrhea. So they gave us a script for, for metronidazole and we gave him some Fortiflora. We got him on a medication and we took him home. Now he was not allowed to eat for 24 hours because they wanted to do a follow-up x-ray the next day just to verify that whatever is in his system is passing. So we had to go back in on Sunday the very next day to verify that whatever is in his system was passing and it was so they felt confident enough to send him home and say okay well he should be the you know out of the worst of it by now he should be passing whatever is in his system looks like it's already moved into his colon and at that point it's going to pass so we were very vigilant watching his poop but of course he's on metronidazole which does a fantastic anti-diarrheal so it's going to make him just not poop in general plus he wasn't eating so it took forever to get him to poop but a poop started to go back to normal within a couple of days well, on Monday, we actually did have a follow-up with our actual vet. And our actual vet saw him and said that the vets at Bainfield did exactly what he would have done. Like, exactly. They would have just done the x-rays. They would make sure that he was looking okay, that there was nothing seriously wrong with him. But they did exactly what he would have done. Now, I have um, care credit. I have care credit, which if you guys don't know, which I'm sure you guys do, it's a credit card specifically designed for medical treatment for yourself, for your pet, children, whatever it is. It's, it's literally just a credit card that you can use at any sort of hospitals, vets, anything you need in that type of vicinity, dental work, dental care. That's what the credit card's for. I have it. I have a thousand dollars bubble credit that's never been touched. Just always had it as an emergency. Unfortunately, Bainfield doesn't take the credit card. So we did have to pay for everything out of pocket. And luckily we did have just the spare enough funds in my savings to cover for everything. If we had gone to our vet, it would have been completely covered because I have the credit card. So that was definitely a little bit taking back. I and mean, I understand that it wasn't this hospital's fault. Like Bainfield isn't even run by PetSmart. They're, they're run by their own facility. But I don't use them as my primary care. I have another vet as primary care, but they were able, they, I would say they were extremely helpful and I'll never take away how helpful they were for me. I'm just gonna cut the crease. Um, they gave Koa the clear, He's, he should be good. And we had to give him some side point shot for his allergies because he does have some allergies and his face started to flare up again. The following two days starts having a bit more of a allergic reaction. And that's why they're now saying that it's food based. So we are going in to go get him testing. And yes, I am getting pet insurance. I've always looked into pet insurance but I just always saw that pet insurance was a little bit different than like medical insurance, at least with like medical insurance, you 
um, yeah, you have your deductibles, but once you hit your deductible, everything is covered, right? Before you pay out of pocket. With pet insurance, you have to still pay for everything out of pocket and you could just get 80 to 90% back, which is still fan freaking fantastic. So yes, we are 100% looking into um, just adding pet insurance to my already existing like car and renter insurance because I have a great bundle deal and I really like my provider, but um, we just didn't have it at the time. Now, when I had told this story about Koa being pretty sick, I got quite a few comments on my channel of people, some are being really sweet, you know, expressing concerns, talking about how I do need to have pet insurance, this and that, and I understand. And then other people just really felt the need to tell me what type of pet owner I was. Now, there was one person in particular that I get that they were trying to be helpful. At least it, it, it seemed like they're trying to be helpful, but I don't ever want to really call out anybody, but this comment just really kind of bothered me because of the way this person spoke. This person just assumed that my primary care was Banfield and went off on this really long tangent about how Banfield is a really horrible company to go to. All they want to do is milk you for money, that I should never, ever, ever go to any sort of corporate veterinarian offices. I should only go to local that offices because their prices are different the way they take care of their staff is like the way they take care of the animals is different everything's different listen i understand okay i understand but first off don't just assume that you know what vet i go to no banfield is not my primary physician but they were great for emergency situations and if they were who cares it's my money it's what i choose to do with my pet they were able to get my pet in and take care of him immediately like a lot of the local vets that i see around here that i've had to go to and talk to all flat out, flat out have told me for so long that they're no longer taking on new clients. They're not taking on new pets because they're just as busy. We're in a, I live in Orlando. I live by Disney. It's only so freaking busy. So it just, it just, the person, I think they had good intentions, but it came off very poorly. And I'm going to go into the shade called pollen right here. And uh, I mean, like I get that you may have had really good intentions, but you just don't know someone's story. You just don't know someone's situation. And if this is how... I was being treated for talking about my dog's medical expenses and just my dog's situation. God forbid I ever have kids. If I ever do have children, I don't really know how much I'd honestly share with you guys. And that's really sad because I have always shared everything about my life with you guys. I have kept no secrets. I'm very open. I'm very vulnerable. I get shit on at times for being as open as I am. And I choose to share my life with you guys. You guys are my everything. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. But it just gets so frustrating sometimes that people just have it in their heart to just judge and it's not even about people just have their heart just to be mean and they they could just judge you without even knowing your story i mean god look at like Paige for example i knew Paige was pregnant long before you guys ever knew that she was pregnant and the amount of people that were in her comment section talking about her her acne on her face her lack of content, demanding to know why she hasn't posted about Rosie Bow because they were deserved an explanation and just kind of ripping her to shreds for not being online without knowing her story was just astounding. Like it was truly astounding to me. It really bothered hell me and I would talk to Paige about it all the time. I wanted to be in her comment section fighting those people because she's my friend, I'm gonna defend my friend. And uh, people, she was just very sweet saying, no, don't bother. I just been deleting and blocking, but I just really wanted to have her back because like, how dare you talk to somebody like that that you just generally don't know. And it's the same situation here. So like, I just, you know, I told her, you know, now that she's, now that she told her that she's pregnant, I said, just be careful how much you share because, you know, people just don't, I don't know how to say this without sounding mean. People just don't know how to come off across nicely on the internet sometimes. People judge so much, people just, and everybody's entitled to their own opinion, and I respect everybody's own opinion, but it's how you deliver it to a stranger. Because would you say this to me, my face? Like, would you come up to me to my face and tell me you think that I'm a bad pet owner because I took my pet to the only available hospital at that time? Like, would, am I, would you say that to my face? You know, would you say that to Paige's face that her acne is bothering the hell out of you? Would you say that to her face? Like, I just, yeah. So that really got to me. It really bothered me, and I told you guys it was bothering me. And so it's the year of just kind of not giving a crap and I'm just gonna I used to just ignore stuff and there's some things I will always continue to ignore but other things I'm gonna say something because I'm a fantastic pet owner I take care of my babies like there is no tomorrow and Koa is my baby bear he's my Koa bear he's my baby boy and I'm gonna do everything I can in the freaking world to take care of that man if that means going to Bainville Hospital to go get treatment I'm gonna do it it's like getting mad at somebody for going to like a, a, a urgent care <laughs> like I just it's so stupid so yes, 
that's going on with him. He is actually doing a lot better. Um, he hasn't had to have Benadryl in the last couple weeks, so I'm very excited about that. I'm going to go into the shade called Festival, see how that looks. He's doing a lot better than um, what he originally was, so that makes me very happy because, like I said, he was pretty sick there for a time being, and it really kind of got me worried because I don't like seeing him that sick, but he's doing so much better. We are definitely getting insurance, and we're going to try to figure out what his allergy is because we don't think it's... Um, any sort of environmental at this point we think it definitely has to do with food but unfortunately the food that me and my vet want to put him on we have to wait until after his allergy testing because this, this at the university of florida they require that your pet doesn't have any new medication any new food within the last 30 days of testing just so they can make sure they get exactly what's wrong with your pet so there's that that's kind of like what's been going on and i just kind of went off on a rant i'm so sorry but i just I had to say how I felt because it's just, I'm only human, man. <laughs> and I have feelings too. Like I do. Um, let me just quickly do the other aisle camera, guys. I'll be right in back. Okay, so I realized I kind of went on a rant <laughs> and I'm so sorry. Um, for primer today, we're going to go in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer 4% Nicinamide. You also may give this another chance. And if you guys don't know, I do a new series here on my channel called Repurchase or Trash. So I'm going to be trying this all month long to let you guys know whether or not I'd repurchase it or I trash it. So we're going to use this today, but sorry I went on a rant. I'm just very protective of like my loved ones. And, um, I don't know. I just feel like no one should judge you where you choose to go to take care of yourself or your pets. And that's just like one of the things that sucks about being online is that you do open yourself up to scrutiny like that. And it's just like why I feel like if I were to ever get pregnant and or have kids, I don't know like how much I'd want to share because I just don't know if I can handle it. Like I remember I watched like Robbie D. Christie. God, this thing is still really sticky. It's still like Elmer's glue. I watched Robbie D. Christie's videos long ago when she announced that she was pregnant and the way that people came for her when she chose how to raise her, her baby and her common stuff, it was just like so mind boggling. Like it's just, I don't know. I just never been one to tell people how to how and what to do with their lives and it's just weird that people feel the need to do that i don't know it's just really bizarre but that was happening in my life and then um i applied to so many jobs and i applied to be like virtual assistants receptionist uh, interns uh, social media marketing. I applied to be servers. I even, guys, I even texted my old boss this morning and talked to them about possibly going back to my job just because I need something. Um, I need something. So I talked, I, I, I messaged them. I haven't heard anything back and I don't exactly know if I'm going to because I don't know if my availability will line up with their availability. And if it doesn't, I take no offense. I'm still in really good terms with them. I still love them. I still love my old job. I still go back there all the time. It's just, I don't know if, if our... Uh, availabilities will line up because that's one of the jobs where since you're working at Animal Kingdom it's seven to eight o'clock closes you're talking about being there from 10 30 to like uh, anywhere between 8 30 to 9 30 almost 10 o'clock at night depending where you are in the restaurant and there'd be no way for me to do videos at that time so whatever days I'd work I obviously would have to cut down YouTube tremendously and I don't want to do that because I love YouTube so much so I'm, I'm trying to find something to make it work um, I'm gonna go in with my favorite foundation which I keep talking to you guys about is the Revlon color shade this is the long wear makeup combination oily skin I'm in the shade 220 absolutely freaking love this foundation mine's almost empty and I went ahead and I did get a backup because I need a backup. What's a great way for me to test out this primer with my favorite foundation? If you guys hear background noise, it's just the lawn people. They're here on a different day, which really kind of threw me off. But yeah, so I have been applying to jobs like crazy. Still haven't heard anything. Um, never really understanding why. I'm, they're just saying that they're just not moving forward with my application. Although this one place in particular, I applied to be a pool server. Let me tell you. I applied to be a pool server probably about three weeks ago now, and I have been getting multiple rejection letters from them on a weekly basis. Like, I get it. <laughs> I get it. You didn't want to hire me for the job. Do you still keep sending me, thank you so much for applying for this position, but we regret to inform you that we're not moving forward with your application. Like, do you have to keep sending that to me? Like, bitch, I get it, okay? You don't have to keep telling me I'm rejected. I understand. Now, I've had some of you guys tell me that I should go apply to, like, Sephora and Ulta. I actually used to work for Ulta, oh, gosh, 12 years ago now, and I absolutely hated working for the company. And I think the reason why I hated working for the company was I had to do more so with my boss at the time. She was very, very much... Um, 
she judged the way that you looked. And if you didn't look a particular way, you weren't allowed to work at that job. And I really hated working for a woman who you had to be thin, you had to be pretty, you had to be well kept in order to work at Ulta. And it's just, there's beauty comes in all shapes and sizes, sizes. And I just, I couldn't stand that. You know what's, and it's also so weird when I applied to be a virtual assistant yesterday, they asked me to include like pictures of myself. Like why? Even when I applied to be some receptionist, they wanted to have me to include a photo of myself. Why? Like why do I have to include a photo of myself? Like, do you have to look a certain way to get hired? It's so weird. So I had that going on. And then um, I kind of want to ask you guys what I should do about my streaming. So should I continue to stream on this channel or should I stream on our Florida Live channel? Corey and Paige and even my beautiful friend Angelica thinks I should stream on my Florida Live channel or create a new channel altogether instead of just streaming here on my makeup channel. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think I should just stream over there and stream like on our Florida Live channel? Because I feel like our Florida Live channel would make a, definitely a lot more sense in my mind because that's kind of encompasses what me and Corey do because he'd like to stream on there too where we stream, we vlog. I could even put some of my book content over there because it would be all about like my life outside of makeup like what do you guys think let me know what you guys think about me streaming over there um it's why we haven't continued to stream the star wars game also i just felt like a lot of people weren't as interested i only had like six viewers at one point i just really wasn't sure people were as interested in that game as they were other games so just let me know okay so for concealer we're gonna try the milk makeup futuristic one again people said they People said they, they did not like this concealer. I actually still don't mind it, but we're still gonna keep trying everything out before I make my final opinions and judgments on everything. But based on my first impression, I didn't mind it at all. So yeah, I had all that happen. And then on top of everything, I thought I was starting to have some really cool things happen for me. So these well-known brands started to reach out to me. Now I'm not gonna say the name just because there's just no point. But these well-known brands reached out to me and they asked that they want to do a sponsorship. And I got really excited because there's this one brand that I really do love their products. And they wanted me to do a sponsored video with them. And I said, okay, yeah, absolutely. They were instead turned around and said, awesome. So what we're going to do is we'll give you an affiliate code that you can use for this um, brand. And we'll see how well your affiliate code does. And if it does well, then we can consider proceeding forward with an actual partnership down the line. And I'm just like, you gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna go on the Jaclyn Cosmetics face of brightening powder just to do them under my eye. But yeah, they only wanted to work with me if I had an affiliate code and it did well, then they would consider moving forward with a sponsorship. Now the thing is for me, I have some of their products, but I don't have everything. You think at least they'd be like, let's, let's send you some stuff, but nope, 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 nope. They, I'm gonna go with the YSL bronzer because we're gonna keep trying this out. Um, they were just very much like, we just want you to have a code, but I'm not saying any PR or anything like that. I could buy my own stuff, but like you would think that they would like at least like offer it or something, right? No. So I actually just ended up ignoring that email just because I'm just so over brands and the way they treat smaller creators. It's truly insane. Like this, the stuff I see and you know, Manny explained it really recently on a, I think it's like a TikTok or his Bulls podcast where they talked about how the Tarte brand trip situation, for example, and how different creators are treated based upon your size. And it's really frustrating because there's brands that I work my ass off for and I love so much and I talk about all the time and I could barely get them to even just acknowledge that I did any sort of content for them. And I do it for free. I don't charge them at all. I do it for free because I generally just really love the brand. And they'll barely even give me like a glance over, but someone who's a lot bigger than me will get all the love and praise in the world. And I just have to remember to not really take it personally. I have to remember that it is a business after all. And that person just is more desirable because they are a lot bigger. And I have to kind of remind myself of that because there are some times where it could just really make me feel like I'm not good enough. I mean, granted, I feel like that every day in my life that I'm just not good enough, period, in my life. And that's a struggle that I'm consistently going through. And it can be very detrimental to my mental health. And um, there are just some times where these brands can make me feel the exact same way because I am such a small content creator. I don't have any value. And I'm not saying that that is what they're saying. I'm saying that's kind of how it comes off sometimes the way that they they treat a bigger influencer. And then I have to kind of remember myself that it has nothing to do about nothing to do with me. It just has to do with this person just 
has a lot more eyes on them so they have more to offer to the brand but i do wish that bigger brands would just kind of understand that you know what i get that i may not have millions of millions of followers but i still do matter i still you know have amazing subscribers this one piece of hair is just getting in the way who who love and support me and you know we matter just as much you know what i mean so but i will say that while there are some negative sides to this there are also some positive because i got a really sweet pr package from merit beauty they actually reached out to me and asked if they could send me a couple of their goodies i said yes first off they the goodies came in this like cute little bag like what the heck i think this is so adorable i love the color you open it up and on the inside it had like the two little products to go with it so how cute is that i believe that if you order stuff from merit you could also get this bag as well so they sent over a merit this is the flush balm um it's a cheek color along with a lip balm right here now if you guys don't know merit is actually a clean brand that you guys can find over at sephora i have seen this brand so many times whenever i go to sephora i've always wanted to try it out so when they reached out, I was like, oh my gosh, yes. So I'm really excited to give this a go. Um, so here we have a cheeky flush balm right here. And it's going to look like so. I got to pick a color. I don't know if I picked the right color. I'm, I'm not really good at cheek stuff like this. You guys know that. But I thought I'd give it a go. So here is that. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Now I'm going to do it a little different. You guys have always told me when it comes to like liquid blushes or like balms like this to always use a brush instead of just applying it right on the face. So we're going to tap my brush into it and see if I could do this the right way. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to start to just tap that on. And I feel like that's a really pretty color, but I feel like my brush. Oh, wow. Oh, that's actually really pretty. But let me diffuse it just a little bit. So I feel like my brush added a little bit more of like oh wow okay that is really pretty do you guys see that what the heck <laughs> that's so pretty okay wait a minute wait a minute okay so let me actually tell you guys what this blush is about uh, this portion's uh, by the way it's not sponsored they have no idea i'm doing this i just wanted to say thank you because they didn't have to send me anything and they reached out to send me something and i thought it was like the coolest thing this blush retails for 30 dollars, and it says that this is a foolproof flexible bomb that depends a foolproof flexible balm that deposits a creamy transparent yellow color to let your skin show through it's a light coverage it has a radiant finish and it is in a stick and i like i said i have the shade called um cheeky which is really really convenient that i have it called cheeky because i always say give it a cheeky thumbs up that is just so pretty that is such a pretty 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 blush what the heck oh my gosh that is really pretty sorry this video has been kind of like all over the place it's just been I feel like me complaining. I feel like me being bitchy or just like me complaining and being negative. And I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to be. I'm just trying to just, I guess, vent to my friends. I just need to vent to my friends. But I will say that no matter what, guys, I will, I'll prevail. I will always find a way. Everything's going to work out. I truly believe that everything is going to work out. Maybe there's a reason why I have gotten denied for every job that I applied for. Maybe there's a reason behind it. And I just don't know what that reason is yet. And, you know, I'm excited to find out what it is. And same thing with, like, these brands that only... Some of the, same thing with some of these brands with how they treat me. You know, maybe there's a reason behind it. And, you know, t today is just not my time. And that's okay. One day it will be. And that's just what I'm looking forward to. You know, I'm looking forward towards the tomorrow. And I have a very positive outlook on everything. For uh, blush, so for setting powder, we're just going to go with my Ofer setting powder right here. I really do enjoy this setting powder. I think it's really fantastic at setting the face. Now, it doesn't have as long as a, doesn't have as long as a longevity as I prefer. Um, like my Nikki Joy Cosmetics Velvet Finishing Powder. But I will say to wear this for about six to seven hours, it does a fantastic job at controlling the oil for that. And that's typically how long i like to wear my makeup for anyway because i get kind of antsy and i don't like to wear my makeup very long because then i'm just like uh take it off <laughs> go in with the elf halo glow right here i just saw that manny me way just announced that he has a new collection coming out and he's going to be launching a lipsticks and lip liners so the lip liners are 14 dollars a piece the lipsticks are 20 dollars a piece you guys can use code ally save you guys 10 percent off when buying anything lunar beauty the collection's actually going live tomorrow tomorrow at 10 a.m pacific standard time which will be 1 p.m eastern standard time there are going to be bundles that are going to be available that's all right, but I want to spice it up just a bit. So I'm just going to use the Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighter right here. Um, but there are going to be bundles available, but you guys can use my code if you wish to do so. 
And I'm so excited because I think I've been seeing him teasing these lip liners on his story for quite some time on TikTok. He's been kind of showing off like those products. I really want to see like how they are because you guys know I absolutely love Lunar Beauty lip products. Like I love his liquid lips, his lip glosses, his um, lip oils. And I'm just really curious to see like how his lip liner and lipstick would be. You now you guys know I'm not the biggest like lipstick fan, but I'm definitely really, really, I'm definitely willing to try that out to see how well I like it. And so I guess now that I'm doing my declutter, I guess it's gonna make room for that. But let me just quickly use, curl my lashes. I'm gonna use the Essence Call Me Extreme right here, followed by the of Ofra, and then I'm gonna use my ColourPop Level Up mascara. Okay, so now that the eyes are pretty much done, I just went in with my ColourPop. This is the cream gel liner, the white liners. I'm obsessed with them. I get asked for my eyeliners all the time. I get them from ColourPop. They're like eight bucks. They break so easily, but they're so good. So to finish off, I want to try the lip oil from Merit. This is the called, this is the shade Slick. This is a tinted lip oil. I have the shade called Marrakech. I think it's called Marrakech. So online it says, it says that these retail for $24 and this is a high shine sheer wash of color that's infused with the plant derived squalene and quinoa seed oil for healthy lips for all day wear. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So I picked the shade called Marrakesh. I think this is like, I, it was hard to tell online like what the shades really look like, but it looks like so. I love the little ga glass bottle. Kind of reminds me a little bit of nail polish. But let me swatch it on my hand so you kind of get a feel of what this is going to look like. So it's going to look like that. All right. So let me just put on some lip liner. Um, I'm going to put on my favorite if I can find it. Now that the lip liner is on, we're going to go in with the Merit Gloss right here. I'm so excited to give this a try. Like I said, I've never tried anything from this brand. Okay, that actually has a really pretty tint to it, actually. Alrighty, guys, and this is the final look. All right, guys, so this is the final look, and I definitely have some thoughts. So starting off, we do the Ultra Ego. This is the Midsummer Palette. First off, packaging, absolutely beautiful. Really do love the packaging. And when you open on the inside, you do have a beautiful, like, soft spring summer palette right here. I think this is a really, really gorgeous palette. I think it's the perfect dupe to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Novu palette. Like I feel like they did such a good job at kind of duping these two together. You guys can definitely see the comparison between the two. I will say that the formula is incredible. I really do love Alter Ego's formula and the best part about this brand, it's a third of the cost from the original price. So if you guys never got a chance to get this palette and you always wanted to, just get the Alter Ego. It's available now and you guys can use code Dawson10 to save you guys 10% off. And Alter Ego, just thank you guys so much for sending this my way. I'm thoroughly enjoying the palette. Now for primer, we went in with the e.l.f. Power grip you know honestly today i don't hate it the other day i hated it today i don't hate it i don't i think that it's did its job we're gonna keep testing this out and i think because i applied it under my favorite foundation maybe that's why i'm really enjoying it but i'm gonna keep trying this out because i just you know didn't like it the first time i tried it but so far it's definitely not bad at all in the slightest and you guys know i love this foundation i won't say anything bad about it the Milt Makeup Concealer. I'm still enjoying this. I don't really know why people hated this, but I'm enjoying it. Same thing with the YSL Bronzer. You know, honestly, I think what you guys told me, you guys told me a little bit goes a long way. So I just started to redo it. This has been viral all over social media and I can see why it is. I will say I want to get my right shade, but I will I will say that a little bit of this goes a long way. So I feel like this is definitely going to last me for a lot longer than expected because I just needed just a few dots to blend it out and it was really easy to work with. Then we have this Merit like flush balm right here. This is pretty. This is the shade Cheeky. Do we see this right here? Do you guys see just how soft and glowy that is? Like it doesn't need to have, I didn't need to put like any more blush on top of it. It's just really beautiful all on its own. Like I didn't need anything else. I love the fact that it's a clean product you guys can find at Sephora. But honestly, they do have a lot more options over on the Merits website, which I'll have linked down below for you guys if you guys want to check them out. Because I also know that I think on the website, they only had four options for their tinted lip oil, but they have so much more options on the actual Merit website. So I'll just link it down below for you guys. But I will say this is a really, really pretty cheek blush. I'm kind of impressed. It kind of reminds me of my Patrick Tall She's Passionate blush. It's so pretty. And then we have, well, you guys have already seen me talk about the e.l.f. glow and the Jaclyn highlighter, so I don't need to talk about that. 
but um, I will say that I really also am enjoying the lip, tinted lip oil from Merit right here. This is a really pretty lip oil. Typically, I don't really go for a shade like this. When it comes to lip oils, I like to go more of like the brown route right here. Where I go a little bit more on the brown copper side just because I feel like it complements my lip liners really nicely. But the shade, I think it's called Maracouche. Maracouche. It's a really pretty shade. Like it's really pretty. It's very soft on the lips. Like it says it's high shine. I could definitely see it being shiny. I wouldn't say it's necessarily high shine. You guys can see the shine there, but it almost feels like I'm just wearing a very soft, comfortable chapstick with a little bit of tint and a little bit of shine to it. Very soft, very easy to work with. I feel like this is gonna be one of those ones that's just gonna be nice to have in your purse. You throw it on, you have a little bit of color to your lip and then it just is beautiful and comfortable all day long. That's why I feel like this is fearless. So I'm really excited to, to keep trying this out. And I'm gonna go check out the other colors because I'm really liking how this one feels. I definitely think I like the other ones as well. So those are kind of like all the new products that I tried for you guys to an extent. Some products definitely were not new, but I still want to play with them. I'll make sure I link everything I'm wearing on my face down below. And I just want to apologize for ranting. Oh my gosh, I have dog hair on my sweater. I'm so sorry. I just want to apologize for ranting in this video and for sounding like I'm complaining and negative. I just wanted to talk to my friends. This was a get ready with me. And I just, this is how I'm feeling right now. This is how my life is right now. And I just, I just wanted to share it with you guys. And if it made you guys upset that I've, I ranted a little bit and was a little bit negative, I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm human. And I just, I want to talk to my friends. <laughs> So yeah, guys, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you guys have not already. So I do post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for the Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribe you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in our very next video bye